Hi there, Scott Snyder, Seed Care Specialist with Syngenta here in Eastern Canada. And I'm at uh, one of Agris's MyField Technology sites here today to talk to you about some of our uh, SCN and SDS products that we have in the marketplace. Uh, right now we can talk about Saltro. It's uh, a fungicidal seed treatment that uh, we brought into the market for the first time this year. Last year it was in our research authorization program with large scale uh, plots and we liked, liked what we saw. Um, there is some early SDS pressure compared to normal last year and, and now this year we're, we're seeing some just start to pop up with, uh, with all these frequent rain, rains we've been getting in uh, southwestern Ontario here. So Saltro, um, like I said, the, the pest we're targeting here is sudden death syndrome and anybody that knows uh, or has had experience with sudden death syndrome knows how, how devastating it can be both yield wise and, and even just you know, morale wise. It's, it's, it's super visual. It's really hard to uh, drive by without noticing. The causal agent of sudden death syndrome is, is a Fusarium species and basically the way it works is it, it can lay there in the soil when the conditions are right and typically after uh, a big rain or, or even a medium rain event, it causes the plant to uptake all the toxins that the disease has been producing uh, in the root zone and it brings them up through the plant and very quickly you get intervenal chlorosis um, which turns from you know yellow to brown very quickly and then very quickly to you know there's there's nothing left of that plant and and the it exists in patches so those those kind of spread out the good thing with this seed treatment to combat sudden death syndrome is that you you apply it to you know to all your seed for a field that you know you have a problem with and you don't have to know those exact zones where where SDS exists because we we know there's you know it's lots of these patches sometimes topographical kind of where they end up but uh, but you know those zones and you can you can plant the the seed across all the acres and you get the benefit where that is it protects the yield and where it isn't you conserve the yield so i've seen yields advantages with with saltro in the two to four bushel range pretty consistently um, where there's higher pressure we've seen you know much much bigger advantages but uh, but that two to four bushels would represent most fields that have sudden death syndrome in it and on an application side of things for the treater uh, it's it's a very very good formulation very consistent and uh, plays plays well so to speak with all all the rest of our seed treatments and anything we've tested it with and as well i've actually seen uh, just anecdotally but i've seen a lot of cases where actually you know typically when we're adding a seed treatment in we're we're a little concerned on application volume and it washing things out but we've actually seen uh, some seed you're adding application volume and, and with the saltur on there it actually has has a better appearance in the end. Draco, now this is a new seed treatment. Uh, it's a biological. Um, biologicals are broken down into biostimulants and biocontrol and it actually has properties of both within it. It's a, it's a dual, dual strain uh, of bacteria that's, that's in the product and basically the biocontrol aspect is for soybean cyst nematode and rhizoctonia and it's got uh, suppression claims for those but then the biostimulant portion is is kind of a, a separate benefit and what it basically does is once you once you apply it to the seed uh, it's it's kind of dormant once it gets in the soil it starts to colonize in that root zone and once it's colonized uh, it creates a bit of a the biofilm or a sheath on all the roots and protects it from disease um, so when we talk about adding this product we we want it still with other other seed treatments that are going to protect protect the uh, the roots in the meantime while that uh, colony uh, develops and then once it's developed it's going to do a good job at protecting from disease but as well on the uh, on the biostimulant part of things it's going to protect those roots and actually increase uh, the health of the roots the amount of root mass you get and then consequently you're going to get better uh, water uptake better nutrient uptake so if it's a, a droughty year you, you obviously are going to see a lot of those benefits but those benefits don't diminish when you're in you know an average rainfall year or or above average because it's still going to be more effective at how it uses the water so with draco uh, with with what we have for labels we have we have corn and soybeans on it uh, the trial work that's gone into it to previous this year does support both. Uh, what we're doing is we're kind of leading with our best foot forward. We're for sure uh, on the Syngenta side of things, NK is bringing Draco into all corn uh, starting starting next year. It's in the seed guide this year and it's it's just because we've seen such promising results um, in the, the yield data from small plots and then even this year we've already seen uh, big differences in areas that believe it or not were a little stressed for, for water. Uh, that corn was healthier with that with a bigger root mass. It was able to actually be. We saw differences of even uh, you know 10 to 12 inches higher 
uh, throughout the growing season and then it actually was tasseling uh, two or three days ahead of time. Uh, so we're see we've, we've been seeing these differences, it's all very positive and then uh, the differences are really starting to show up now on the field scale side of things in, in soybeans. So we're, we're uh, evaluating those and of course you know yield data trumps everything in the end and we'll be we'll be taking these to yield data but uh, that's going to kind of determine our course of action and you know it's been very exciting seeing the corn results being in the the 10 15 even up to 20 bushel range uh, for an advantage for this so we're we're very excited so if you have any questions or, or uh, interest in, in seeing some of this uh, some of these products we've talked about here today in the field or getting it in your field next year just contact your local agris and they'll be able to set you up and, and supply any more information you need or get, a, get you in contact with us if you have some really specific questions.